by the proclamation of Harry S. Truman, President of the United States, this is a day of national mourning for the death of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Almost within the hour, funeral services for Mr. Roosevelt will be conducted from the East Room in the White House. There is nothing that I can add to the eulogies that we have heard and read in the last two days since his tragic and untimely death. There is nothing that I can say that will further express the feeling of grief and loss that I know is in our hearts. We have lost a great leader and a true friend. We mourn with the other people of the world who have also sustained this loss. As we gather here today, there is perhaps a no more fitting way to commemorate his passing from us as a mortal being than the launching of this ship. For although death has come to Mr. Roosevelt, it came near the hour of victory towards which he led us, and the sturdiness of his dauntless spirit and faith is with us. Even as Americans continue the fight with renewed effort on the battlefront of the world, so must we, on the home and production front, continue our work toward the victory and the peace that is the hope for all people. Franklin Delano Roosevelt has died in the service of his country. He has passed on the torch of leadership to others. We must be constant and courageous in our faith, our work, and our future. <laughs>